morning. And whether you're watching us from Twitch or YouTube, welcome to Bungie TV. Uh, I'm Deej, and I'll be your host for this Combat Reveal stream. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to my co-hosts, who are designers from our Sandbox team. It's true. This is true, yeah. is it not? Good morning, how are good you? Good morning, I'm very good, how are you? Good, glad Excellent. to have all three of you here. Uh, let's begin with Mr. Josh Hamrick. That's me. Uh, <laughs> hi. How you doing? What do you want to know? I want to know what you do at Bungie. Oh, I do, I drink some coffee. Yeah. And I go to meetings, yeah. and uh, I try and keep these guys happy and on task, which is really a struggle. Every team needs a good leader. <laughs> That's right. Uh, You're I am, yourself I'm down, an okay leader. I think what you do is important. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I also worked on, uh, I worked on mods, and I worked on the ammo model, so I did real work for like a very limited run. Yeah. For, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Claude Jerome. <laughs> Hello. Uh, taking a break from your honeymoon. There you go. <laughs> show, us the, show us the shiny new hardware there right is. there. Look at there that. It is. This, this man wanted to talk to you so much about the state of combat in year two that he is actually taking a break mm -hmm. from his honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Arrived on set ten whole minutes ago. So approved, he's approved by the missus. Approved by the missus. <laughs> it's he's, good. It's he's good start. Unrehearsed. What did you have for breakfast? Oh, I had cake for breakfast. There's <laughs> so, a lot yeah, of cake. You're just so. Basking in the glow. Yeah, it's pretty of delicious. <laughs> brand new matrimony. Uh -huh. uh, what is your uh, What's your specialty at Bungie on the sandbox design team? So I'm a sandbox designer. I work on the abilities team, uh, basically making all the new supers and all the new perks that we're going to show here. All right. And Greg Peng. How's it going? Good. Glad to have you in one of the hot seats. Talk to us about your role on the sandbox design team and uh, your specific contributions to the state of combat in the second year of Destiny 2. Yeah, uh, pretty much all the Forsaken weapons have gone through my hand in some way. Sometimes I'll just poke at it a little bit, though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm the sandbox designer working on weapons. All right. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how the arrival of Destiny 2 Forsaken and the beginning of year two is going to change the way we all fight. Uh, the ch changes in weapon balance, the changes in abilities, uh, the, some of the new features that will allow you to configure the way you play uh, are going to be available to all players of Destiny 2. Uh, some of these changes will even arrive before Forsaken on August 28th. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is give you uh, a pre-mission briefing so that you can start thinking right now about how you might be configuring your Guardian so that it's uh, a good reflection of how you are as a player. Uh, with that, Josh, talk to me a little bit about what are the overarching goals? When you take a look at Destiny 2 Year 2, uh, what were your goals in approaching the work that you and your team did together to make a new combat meta? Yeah, I think we, you know, we, looked, at, we looked at Year 1 and saw what people were, were saying and thinking and how the game was being played and kind of you know, what, what we were seeing happen with the game. And so we came out of it with, um, one thing we wanted to do is give, more, give players more options for them to specifically tweak and tune their loadout to play the way they want to play. Mm -hmm. um, I'm front lines, I'm in the air quite a bit, right? Yeah. I, I, want, I play for speed and efficiency, yeah. uh, which means I die a lot. Uh, but in those regards, like, I wanted tools to be able to tweak that play style to play the way I yeah. play, right? Let Whereas people Claude, embrace a specific role. Exactly. In, the, in, in combat. Yeah. Versus Claude, who plays poorly and slow. Um, you know, so he has different mods. I today. play poorly and slow. <laughs> I mostly use grenade launchers. Yeah, I'm a support player. <laughs> I love my rift. <laughs> yeah. And everybody gets a little gun buddy over their shoulder. Yeah, That's exactly. the way I play. Uh, and he then we wanted to... friends. <laughs> we, why? It's a waste. We wanted, uh, we wanted the game to be interesting for longer, and so that means things like the drops you're getting, we wanted to be special and uh, fun. You know, every time you see something hit your screen, you want to be like, ooh, mm -hmm. what is that, right? Mm -hmm. We want to bring that, yeah. that moment back. The and 10th better devils, if you will. Exactly. We wanted the 10th better devils to still be as exciting as your first better devils, because it could be the best devils. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be. Uh, and then, as well, the kind of doing the same thing with the meta. We didn't want the meta to get stale as quickly, and so um, one of the nice things, those kind of work in concert, and so if you deliver one, then the, mm -hmm. you know, the meta stays fresh for longer because everybody's sure. rotating through different things. The more players discover the perfect combination of these different elements, the more they may shift their fighting style, the yep. more they may adapt to each other. Exactly, and because it's a long, slow rollout, right, uh -huh. then it's, you know, it, it slowly changes the landscape over time. Uh, and then the last huge thing, huge, and w the thing we'll talk about most today is we wanted to bring back uh, even more hero moments, and doing that specifically through uh, increased skill gap. Like, we wanted to, to make the game not harder to play, 
but certainly we wanted to make the game in the right hands be special and and uh, you know insane to watch right we wanted mm -hmm. we wanted the people who are who are best at the game to to shine and for people to look at those people and say like how did you do that or i don't want that that's what i want and both in the way that the tweets they made to their loadout, the abilities they're choosing to run, the armor they're choosing to run, the weapons they're choosing to run, and just the the way that they play mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Now, Claude, we have how many new supers in Forsaken? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we added nine. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? We added nine new supers. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, we wanted to add a lot more variety to the way you can customize your existing subclasses mm -hmm. because we felt like we wanted to make everyone have a new way to play. Basically, mm -hmm. that was our main goal. And yeah. so we added new supers and associated perks for each of those supers as well. So even if players do not join us in the Tangled Shore for this new adventure mm -hmm. in Forsaken, but we certainly hope that you do. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're just come along with us uh, into the adventures of year two um, without being a player of Forsaken, they're still going to find some changes to the mm -hmm. existing subclasses that they know and love? Yeah, so <clears throat> because when we changed the customization options for weapons, it basically meant that lethality was going to change as well. And so abilities needed to react to all the weapon changes and so that you could have a lot of uh, viable options to counter a player that's coming at you with guns that are more lethal as well. Mm -hmm. And so grenades changed, uh, supers had to get more reliable in a bunch of different ways and, and, so faster. We looked at, and faster, and so we looked at a bunch of the ones that were underperforming currently, bumped them up, and then looked at the ones that were underperforming relative to the new sandbox and started yep. to tweak them here and there. Yep. And so a lot of the existing uh, perks and melee abilities and grenades and stuff got changed to help react to all the lethality changes. Okay. Mm. Uh, we'll see uh, a lot more evidence of those sorts mm -hmm. of things when we actually take to the Crucible for a live fire exercise. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk about a man that knows his craft. Not a single <laughs> moment of rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're, doing, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Uh, stomach full of cake, heart full of love. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, uh, Greg, we're, uh, we're doing a lot of telling. Uh, sure, we we're are. doing a lot of talking about how we've changed the sandbox. Let's show them, shall we? Yeah, uh, let's go to it. You have a controller in your hand. Uh, you're going to be the driver. And uh, we have a warlock up on screen. Uh, yep. Is that your warlock? No, it is not my warlock. This is a uh, facsimile. <laughs> this is a dev environment. So, a uh, doppelganger. For those of you watching, uh, you, know, you might see some things that you won't completely understand. You will see some things that aren't completely finished. Uh, you might even see some uh, you know, elements of the UI either here or in game that might not look entirely finished. But that's what we do when we bring you into our creative process. So Greg? So, Show uh, us what's different Yeah, and let's start out by talking about slots. So okay. as you notice, uh, we still have the three slot system, kinetic, energy, and power. Yep. So the paradigm still lies that you know, kinetic weapons go in, in the first slot, uh, energy type weapons go in the second slot, and power weapons go in the third slot. Mm -hmm. However, you'll notice that next to the light level of the weapon now is a little ammo icon that says primary or special mm -hmm. or heavy. So basically what we've done is we've turned what ammo a weapon takes into an attribute of the weapon rather than tying it to the slot. Which means that in the kinetic slot, we can run both primary and special weapons. Uh, the same with the energy slot, primary and special weapons. And in the heavy slot, or sorry, in the power slot, you can only run heavy slot, heavy weapons. Yep. So um, if you take a look at through this lovely menagerie of weapons we have here, uh, here we have a shotgun, here we have a hand cannon, a bow. A bow is also going to be a primary weapon. Mm -hmm. Brand new archetype for players of Forsaken only. Some varieties of better devils here. <coughs> Pulse rifle, sniper rifle. And here in the energy slot, we have also shotguns, bows, snipers. And not featured here, fusion rifles as well. Mm -hmm. And also trace rifles. Um, we actually upgraded trace rifles to a special ammo, which means that they will be doing more damage in year two. Um, so here in the, in the power slot, we have grenade launchers. We have... Is that all grenade launchers, Greg? Uh, no. Actually, we've also created, or uh, we've also changed some of the single shot grenade launchers into using special ammo as well. So they will also do mm -hmm. a different damage than the 
the heavy grenade launchers. And did you, yeah, you touch them to, yeah. to fit appropriately? They will fit shots. appropriately. Yeah. Um, rocket launchers, <laughs> <laughs> uh, swords, and linear fusion rifles. Uh, so it's not just a matter of, you know, crazy free for all, just use any weapon in any slot. You've curated this, you've taken a look at this from a, a perspective of how can we still create some semblance of balance and order, but you're giving us more options. Is that kind of an accurate summary of how the weapon slots are changing? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, we want to let you play the way you want to play. If you want to play a D1 loadout, play a D1 loadout. If you want to play a D2 loadout, play a D2 loadout. You want those options to be available. Yeah. Um, but if you're crazy... If you're crazy... You, you, you can crazy. roll three shots. You sure can. Mm -hmm. Or grenade right. launchers. <laughs> or grenade launchers, that's right. There are, there are a couple, yeah. of, couple of roles like that that you can run three weapons with. And so so the flow of ammunition <laughs> on the battlefield has always been one of the ways that we've been able to kind of control the flow of combat and how these fights uh, spin out in real time. How is that changing in year two or how have these new design decisions impacted the way that works? Yeah, so what we found is like we, we knew we wanted to change slots. Like we, we heard all the feedback. We ourselves had been playing with it. Uh, what we didn't want to do was just roll back. Like we felt like we could do something more interesting, yeah. which you're getting to see here today. And we're mm -hmm. super happy with the way that this started to play. What we realized in a hurry was that the weapon ammo model was certainly going to have to change to support this. Uh, and then later, as we'll talk about, that also rolls right downhill into then that needs to change lethality as well. And then lethality rolls further downhill and that means that needs to change abilities, et cetera, et cetera, which we'll cover all today. Yep. Uh, as far as the ammo model goes, though, what we realized was we, we, wanted to, we wanted to support players actually playing the way they wanted to play. We didn't, we didn't want to make a promise and then say, like, but you can't really do it, right? Like, yeah. in super special circumstances. For sure, if you play three of the same weapon or even two specials, you're going to have a harder time on your hands keeping ammo in than if you are running... Uh, dual primaries, which is obviously the easiest thing to keep up with ammo. Um, but then the game will feed you fine if you're running a D1 style loadout or, yeah. or a mirror D1 style loadout. Okay. Um, but the cool thing is that as long as you're, like, for example, in PvP, which we'll show you in just a little bit, you do respawn with ammo, uh, including special ammo. And so you're always being fed ammo to keep you playing. And so even in the case of running dual specials, like you're going to be in the game. You're going to be playing. You're going to be able to do stuff. And I think we're going to see some of our better players you know, run the gauntlet of being able to run maximum uh, special weapons and heavy weapons and, and stay afloat yeah. and even like run into they their advantage. They may even surprise you. They may even surprise Like they you. do. Uh, Greg, uh, I can see that on this specific character, uh, you've got some duplicates of the same weapon. I do. Why would you do that? Well, uh, <laughs> as we have announced previously, random rolls are back. Random so rolls are back. Let's delve into this this menagerie of better devils. Let's That's roll. Let's go, let's go down. Yeah, let's go inside. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a good word. Menagerie. What is it? Menagerie. <laughs> menagerie. If you don't know the definition of the word menagerie, look it up. It's fun. <laughs> so here we have a better devils with Zen moment, outlaw. Tactical mag, steady <laughs> rounds, and a variety of pretty sweet sights. Did you say now? Imagery? I would say this is a uh, pretty good devils. Yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty good, good devils. devils. Yeah, pretty good devils. It's not a bad devil. It's, it's not right a bad devils. devils, right? Do you have a better devil? Um, I think I might have a better devil. It's a good I question. Might. This fills it's rehearsed. Fair. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's not. We did not rehearse that joke <laughs> in a doing it live. <laughs> Ooh. Here's a, here's a pretty spicy, spicy devil. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a hot sauce. Kind of a... <laughs> it's like a hot sauce, yeah. This one's got hip fire grip, moving target, mm -hmm. also tackling that and setting rounds. Um, you know what? I think, I think I've got a best devil. A best I think I might have a best devil. Show me your best, best devils. Yeah. Let's see. Let's look at his best devils. I don't know, Greg. All right, all right. Isn't all right. that one he just picked? He's okay, promising a lot of things here. Oh. Oh, what about this one? Ooh. Explosive payload? Oh, man. Range finder? Ooh, range finder. I've heard of that one. Drop mag? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the crossfire? Pretty good. Pretty good. This might be, I think this is the best doubles of all of the, all of the lot. Yeah. Now, so that whole, perk set, that whole perk set there has been randomized. Yes. Yes. Every single time a better devil <coughs> drops in the crucible, it's going to have a different role. It could be a better devil. Yeah. It could be okay. the best. Devils. How else can you modify this weapon? Well, we have this thing here which is the masterwork. So, of course, 
Uh, previous masters because still went from uh, one to five, so yep. you basically get somewhat of like a five percent bonus at the max. Yep. We have now made masterwork go all the way to ten. For so, weapons. For weapons. Yep. Uh, so, which means that you can actually get a ten percent range boost on this better devils if you level it up. Um, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Even even better devils. You get even better better yeah. levels. And it's and not just one to five to ten. It's a it's a ten point scale. And you can upgrade it and upgrade it and keep on going. Yep. Yeah. Keep on going. Six. And what you know, what's the biggest impact when you're when you're upgrading this, what stats are you manipulating? What are you what what's the benefit that you're getting from this weapon? Just just to call it out and explain it in very specific terms. So uh, for hand cannons, there's a subset of stats that you can master work. Mm -hmm. uh, range, stability, handling, uh, reload. Um, we actually, so because we're going through more of a leveling type system now, we moved the magazine master work to now it is a mod, um, which I will show you next is the yeah, new and improved mod system. Oh, there it is. Whoa. There it is. It's Max. Level now you've, got a, you've got a new column over there, too. I do. It's got, got some more. cool kill trackers, okay. and you can switch okay, between cool. them. You can choose here? Yeah. That's amazing. For free. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so here we have the empty mod socket, and as you can see, the damage type mods are gone. However, we've replaced it with this plethora of drastically <laughs> game-changing mods. Menagerie. <laughs> <laughs> Menagerie. <laughs> <laughs> Menagerie of mods. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't just m manipulate your energy type. They're actually going to have a tactical impact on the way you fight. Yes. Right. This is what we were talking about in the first goal about being able to, t to tweak your play yeah. style. This is one of the examples of being able to do that. Screenshot. And so, a Screenshot. Exactly. A bunch <laughs> of people, uh, you know, we've talked about and we're excited mm -hmm. about the in-air accuracy mm -hmm. mod that you can apply. Mm -hmm. There's a quick radar return mod that you can apply. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, all, all things to... to to make the game play a little more the way that you play. And how do I mod. acquire these mods? They are going to drop in the weapon, on the weapon. However, you're like, oh, but how am I going to get them out of the weapon once they're in the weapon? Oh, yeah. that's great. Well, <laughs> 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 so here we have that pretty good devils with the major spec mod on it. And I will shard it. Dismantle it. Behold, there is the major spec mod now. There you in the go. So it drops taken your bank, yeah. and you can use that on any weapon. No gun fits required. So you can get a weapon with a random roll that you're like, this is an okay roll, I'm going to keep it. You can get a weapon with a roll that you're like, this isn't as good. But it had a mod on it, okay. and then you nuke the weapon, and now you have a copy of the mod. Eco friendly mods. Eco yeah. friendly mods, that's right. We all use different words for dismantling weapons. He mm. shards, you nuke. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, okay. it's very powerful. It's, 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 it's all the same activity, though. Uh, all right, now let's see. Let me take a look. Random rolls, perks, mods. Anything else you want to cover about the weapon specifically? That seems like it runs oh, the gamut, yeah? No light yeah, level. Much. There's no light level on the mods now. Oh, yeah. True. No, so no, way. no yep. it's mm -hmm. just about just tactical a, gain. Mm -hmm. It's yep. just about configuring Simple it. Simple choice. You want to keep, make, make your customization deeper, but also make the game a little bit simpler to understand. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Yep. So loot drops can be more interesting over time. The combat meta can evolve and change over time as people discover more interesting combinations. Uh, this looks promising. Um, when you make these changes, though, if you make the slightest change to anything in Destiny, we've got this crazy sandbox that uh, impacts a menagerie of activities. <laughs> uh, you know, people are going to use this new weapon system uh, on everything from a final raid boss to the people that they meet in the Crucible. Yep. And when you start making these changes, it impacts every other system in the game. You know, it's like if the yes. game is like an organism, if I give you a bigger heart, you're going to need a ro more robust circulatory system. Mm -hmm. So like, translate a metaphor like that into the work you do. When you start playing around with weapon slots and when you start playing around with ammunition flow and different perks to make people more lethal, how does that impact everything, and what, else, what other changes did you have to make in order to keep up? Yeah, it's kind of surprising the amount of things that touch, uh, touches when you start to change it. So we, like I said, we started with slots. We knew we wanted to change it. So we changed that, and we got <coughs> ourselves into a position where it was, okay, we either, we either affect ammo. Uh, well, we got to build a new ammo system regardless. So we build a new ammo system to work with the slots. And then we're, you either give out a ton of ammo so that people have enough uptime because we felt strongly that you know, we're going to promise a system and then people are going to get in and they're going to feel like they don't get a chance to play. So that either means you give out more ammo 
or or you just deal with that and we mm -hmm. didn't feel like that was the right call. So we gave out more ammo, we gave you more uptime for those special weapons. Uh, when you do that, that means more people are running around with special weapons, and then that means those who don't have special weapons are suddenly dead to rights all the time, right? Yeah. Like, you can't compete. And so that has an obvious impact on lethality. And so we, you know, we, we pushed down this road, we got to that point where we realized, like, we're, we've got to give more ammo. This is like this is right there. If we just are delivering on this, it's going to be great. It's going to be the thing that we promised it would be. It will be enjoyable. Yeah. But that means making the call to go ahead and change lethality. Mm -hmm. And so Greg was like, "Hey, I got an idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna slam up precision damage and let's see how that plays." And we're like, uh, "Okay, mm -hmm. let's do it. Check it in. Why not? Let's go for it." And so he checked it in and mm -hmm. we played it. And you know, it's it's been tweaked a lot since then, as Greg can talk about. But the idea totally worked right yeah. we're like oh yeah this is this is better this so is what we need to if do if i like to play with an auto rifle or if someone out there likes to play with a hand cannon and all of a sudden we've got all these shotguns and all these grenade launchers moving further up into the weapon slots where you're going to see them more often yep. uh, i'm not just going to get overrun <coughs> and now my auto rifle's worthless no but you're re putting the requirement on me to evolve i now have to embrace precision fighting because i'll tell you i don't you know like what did we say before we play we play slow and bad and dumb you we know. take our time we take our time, take our time. i get it we, right we i, I aim fun. for center mass there's more to hit there so in order to have the greater time to kill uh it's it's about yeah. it is uh or you play smart i really like the d2 system and i want to run two hand cannons and yeah. a, a in some version of a sniper right and so uh Again, by pushing that lethality up, it makes that totally possible. Like I, yeah. I play fine, and in fact, I never run out of ammo, and it's amazing, right? I can just, <laughs> I can just nice. play forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. And so, like being able to do all those play styles, but then, as I think you're alluding to, um, that then starts to show through in other ways. We're like, now the guns are awesome, and when I run mm -hmm. up to somebody and yeah. give them a high five. When I was trying to punch them in the face, that suddenly does yeah, not totally. feel so good. So. Mm -hmm. so across the entire spectrum of space magic, mm -hmm, Claude, mm -hmm. uh, abilities, whether it's melees or supers or what have you, mm -hmm. uh, when you took a look at this new sandbox, what changes did you feel needed to be made to all players, mm -hmm. not just the new Forsaken supers, yeah. but any player that has their favorite super or has their favorite melee, uh, what did you feel needed to be done in order to kind of bring that stuff into balance with everything else that mm -hmm. was exciting and shiny and new and more powerful? Yeah, I think like uh, like more of what Josh was saying, like we we'll make these changes and we'll we'll have ideas about how it'll work out, like what things will change down the line. Um, but we need to play it at the end of the day. So we'll, we'll get it in the lab. We'll play it every day over and over and over again. And we we just think about like what decisions are we making as a player, right? Yeah. Like. Um, if someone's rushing me with a shotgun, I'm like, when do I, what can I do? And if those decisions are feeling shallow, like I don't have, the, like I just die, then that doesn't feel great, and so we start touching other weapons, but then it still feels a little bit more shallow than we wanted to, mm -hmm. so we look at other options. Um, and so in particular, the, I would say the, probably the biggest um, change to the neutral game of the abilities, uh, just like non-supers basically, is we, may, we went back to two hit melees. So two, two melee hits will kill a guardian. Okay. And so that changed a whole lot. There's a whole yeah, lot of whole downstream. Lot. Uh, Two melees, mm -hmm. three shots to the head. Yeah. You know, it's so a, things yeah. start moving faster again. And so you, know, just, you start thinking about your positioning a little bit better. You start thinking about your choices a little bit better um, because it's going to be a lot more chaotic, a lot more hectic, a lot fast-paced yep. um, combat. And so and once we went to two-hit melee, uh, a lot of things that already exist um, or sort of tuned around two-hit melee, yeah. or three-hit melee, rather. Before you go into this, mm -hmm. like, I think that's an excellent example of... as you. As I think everybody can start to see, like every decision we make, like mm -hmm. even like, a lot of them you can predict, right? But mm -hmm. it's like, if we do this, that mm -hmm. means we're suddenly doing this, right? Mm -hmm. And if we do that, are we gonna have to do this? And so yeah. we play it to find out because you don't. Sometimes yeah. it surprises mm -hmm. you. You're like, oh, yeah. it turns out this is fine. Sure. And, and sometimes, case, uh, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we won't find it. Like it's a risk, yep. but it's worth yeah. taking. Yeah. I think. So. And so when we changed mm -hmm. to hit melee, we predicted. And then end up changing, yeah. mm -hmm. but where Claude's going next? I'll let yep. you finish. Tell me yeah. about Claude. So, so there's a bunch of stuff like in uh, DT launch that we uh, tuned around the whole three hit melee model where we said uh, nothing would instantly evaporate you, but in a two hit melee world, there needs to be some power spikes. And those power spikes started to become things like shoulder charge again. So all the shoulder charge mechanics, shield bash, yeah. um, hammer strike, all the ones that are basically, you go out in third person, you, you punch someone, those are going to now one hit. And so those guys are back to their, their previous place. <laughs> Uh, taking out Guardians. Beware then. the Titans. Mm -hmm. Beware the Titans. 
Um, and then similarly, uh, we looked at a bunch of the perks that affected uh, damage, like grenade, like Voidwalker's charge grenades also deal more damage now, for instance. Um, basically, anything that was promising damage uh, increases, we need to reevaluate in this new world of lethality. Yeah. And then my personal favorite, which mm -hmm. we haven't touched on, we've only teased a little bit, is, uh, is Tether. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. So that's a good example of one of the supers that needed to change to yeah. sort of become more reliable in this new world as well. And so we, we uh, deep, so we had a, a bunch of ideas what we could do with Night Soccer in general for um, some of the feedback we've gotten around how Shadow Shot is unreliable. And we wanted to evaluate them uh, in sequence. And one of the things that we found pretty early on was that Tether actually uh, isn't as reliable as it needs to be. Yeah. It, it's not finding guys as frequently, like people are passing through it. They're not getting tethered fast enough, that kind of thing. And so we basically found a way to increase the, I'll call search frequency mm -hmm. that the tether mm -hmm. can um, activate on. And so now it's like, yeah. it's, it's fast. It'll it's find brutal. you. It yeah, will find you're not you. making yeah. it through anymore. <laughs> it will that's, find you. That's we terrible some, news. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so what about my storm caller? Folks. What'd you do to my storm caller? Oh uh, yeah, storm caller. So storm trance, um, we also upped the lethality of that. So that's basically going to zap guys down okay, faster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, you're, yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're gunslinger actual. What'd you do to golden gun? Golden gun. Man, you found all the stuff. I guess good. So the golden gun. We had a few rehearsals. Yeah, while you were out <laughs> eating cake. So the golden gun, <laughs> cake so here. good. Uh, we'll come back to that. There's so many flavors. All right, so <laughs> golden gun um, got a little bit more time. So in this new world of fast-paced action, we wanted you to have the ability to sort of yeah more carefully choose your targets. And so we gave all the golden gun versions a couple more seconds, so literally two more seconds, uh, to run around okay. with your one-shot golden gun and just evaporate guys. Um, Similarly, throwing knife uh, came up in damage to match the new two-hit melee world. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a good preview. Mm -hmm. I think the best evidence of uh, the work that you've done, and you can call it out when you see it, mm -hmm. uh, can be found in a live fire exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So we're going to go there right now. Uh, we're going to go to Cosmo, hey, friendly neighborhood guys. community manager, and Kevin Giannis. Uh, gentlemen, uh, real quick, introduce yourselves to our stream audience, talk about what you do at Bungie, and uh, then we'll go and we'll take a look at uh, all of these changes and all the, these promises that we've made in real time. Hi, uh, I'm Kevin Giannis. I'm a senior Crucible designer here. I work on game modes, ammo system, ranks, things that everyone cares about. And I'm here to talk to you about weapons. I'm Cosmo, community manager. I'm in charge of uh, taking all of your feedback, writing the TWAB, and uh, I'm telling you new things that's coming to Destiny. All right, gentlemen. So let's uh, go take a look at a brand new Crucible map. You guys have touched down on Destination, and uh, this is an educational ceasefire. Uh, what would you like to do in order to help us with a little proof of concept uh, before we actually get into the fight? Yeah, so uh, we're going we're gonna to demonstrate some of the time to kill changes here. Uh, Cosmo and I have picked up. Hang, hang loadouts here to represent archetypes. I'm running like a, an aggressive pulse rifle and a nice rapid fire uh, scout rifle. Yeah, so you're running two primaries, right? Double primary and a sweet new sword. And you loaded in with a with a with a metric ton of ammo there. Well, I picked some up. Oh, well, <laughs> but you, you did. Just say off? you did. <laughs> All right, let's shoot some people. All right, sure. Yeah, uh, I'll start with this uh, aggressive pulse. As you can see here, a two burst almost Ooh. melted him. <laughs> That's a Not spicy meatball. <laughs> and then with this uh, rapid fire scout, Oof. <laughs> five shots to the head and gone. As you see here, he dropped his special ammo right on the floor for everyone to see. How about yourself, Mr. Cosmo Man? All right. Got this nice assault rifle. Oof. Mm. Yeah, even with the uh, body shots, it... Uh, you can see the difference with the that's the new new position. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and also got, is this the aggressive hand it's cannon? It's the aggressive hand cannon. So I can just kind of one in the you know. Two, and then three, oh. Gonzo. Oof. There's the three tap. That's spicy. The two three body. tap is real. Two body, one head. That's so real. All right, so uh, before we get into the fight, unless there's anything else you want to show us at point blank, yeah, uh, sure. why don't you guys go into your build and uh, configure yourselves for uh, a couple of exhibition matches of Clash and talk to our friends who are watching from home or wherever they find themselves about what decisions you're making and exactly what role you want to play in combat. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run a double primary build here and I'm going to be running uh, a new weapon, Luna's Howl, and 
I'm going to run a bow, actually, here. So I'm going to run this brand new exotic bow, Wish Ender, with a sword as my backup. Boards and bows and swords. Boards and bows. <laughs> All right. So I got this uh, Better Devils. It's uh, got a pretty pretty good roll on it, right? Yeah, you know, pretty good. Kill Cliff Outlaw. Uh, I'm going to be running a Badlander Shotgun in my second slot. And then I got this uh, Two-Tailed Fox you might recognize mm -hmm. from a little video we showed out shooting the two rockets. Hey, Cosmo, I noticed that you're running Icarus on your uh, Better Devils there. Can you give a demonstration of that? I had some people asking about that one. Yeah, so I got the uh, the Icarus. So as you can see, uh, when I jump, that, uh, that aimer stays pretty tight, right? It's pretty tight. Wow, that was well, terrible. Yeah. That was a, <laughs> you're not, you're what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the perfect tool still needs to be in the hands of the right craftsman. <laughs> you weren't even aiming. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go Death Blossom <laughs> Cosmo. Go Death Blossom. <laughs> there we go. Is there a better Cosmo that drops? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Are we ready to fight? I think we're ready to fight. All right, then game on. Oh, no, that's not. Oh, <laughs> what the shit <laughs> is going on? <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, we are in combat. Uh, our combatants are muted. We're going to listen to uh, the designers. And uh, gentlemen, when, uh, when you see a product of your labor, something you're proud of, something you're excited about, uh, let's call it out. This is why we're fighting today, oh, is mm. to understand how year two will change the way we fight. Oh, that exotic bow. Yeah, so easy isn't that wish ender to find targets behind walls. Smart. You actually went to an archery range to learn about the mechanics of bows and, and how they feel in the hands of a player, didn't you? They, well, they did. I was out that day. Uh, I'm still <laughs> grumpy about it. Yeah, right. well. Yeah, I chose tacos instead. Wow. Okay. Tacos instead of bows, huh? <laughs> this is one of the new new maps as well. Yes. Worth calling out. Ooh, the oh, bad bow. timing. Man. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. What happened to him? It happened so fast. He tried to use spectral I'm, blades, but he I got, blinked. Yeah. So did he. He got murked. This is a very interesting hand cannon that uh, Giannis is using right now. Ooh, nice play. Uh, precision, uh, oh, precision family hand cannon. Hey, Kevin. Did we increase uh, respawn? Oh, you're private mm. matching. Okay. He's not mic'd also, so. Yeah, so he said it was a private match. Okay, she didn't pick up on it. So, so we uh, changed the respawn in our private match to keep the emphasis on action instead of waiting to come back to life. One of the things, one of the uh, kind of the things we're talking about, you know, is you touch one thing, it all breaks mm -hmm. and all changes. Uh, and I know we oh we play God. with various re <laughs> <laughs> we play with various respawn times as well. And I, Kevin can tell us in a little bit where we ended up, but it, it was one of the things that you're like, oh, when you do this, that also means, you know, the, the speed at which you can take control points might have to change. The speed at which yeah. you respawn might have to change. Right? So, okay. Look at that. I think earlier there was uh, I, I the new Arc Spider melee Oof. attack there. Oh, you can see if that target there got is. away. There I just away. He knows exactly where he is. You gonna pursue? Oh, it's two of them now. Some poor cabal locked into that. that cabal ball. It's all about information. Oh. Ooh, and aiming. <laughs> aiming is also just as important. All about player feedback, right? <laughs> it should be said oh. that. Uh, Whoa, there's Thunder Crash. Did he get no one? Oh, he got two! And Kevin could have killed him before he did it. Yep, he could have been the hero. That he was the zero? Oh, where's the Icarus? He's Icarus on that. As you can see, everybody's dropping special ammo because mm -hmm. one of the, the way we're, we're handling special ammo is you spawn with, and mm -hmm. when you die, mm -hmm. you drop everything you mm -hmm. had, but of course you spawn back with it, and yeah. so the game constantly stays fed with, with green. And um, Kevin's not picking that up because he's not running special. Kevin's not running special, yeah. so he doesn't have well, a use for it. They're just holding hand. Yeah. But his just, teammates do. They're just daisy chained. His teammates Ooh. can come pick it up. Yeah, and you can see all the information he's getting here from the Witch Ender telling him about targets behind walls. Oh, oh, oh he didn't, didn't see that. Didn't tell him about that the, rocket. The Witch yeah, Ender so. did not tell him that yeah. someone's about to shoot a rocket yeah. at you. <laughs> yep, the wish was ended, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, Ooh. sniper. Sniper, yeah. Oh. So you gotta start watching lanes for those again. <laughs> yeah. More frequently. Almost is. guaranteed yeah. to have ammo yeah. for it. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, we, we keep finding a high risk, high reward. Like you've got a couple headshots, but you still gotta follow through and pick up that ammo if you wanna keep it going. So you need to think carefully about your loadout choices to help you know, make you able to follow through your health as well. Yeah, one of the one of the big changes that we're, we're happy with with this ammo model is because there aren't crates for them in the world and because they drop on the on the corpses of of your enemies it means if you just randomly snipe into a crowd mm -hmm. you just <laughs> produce more special ammo for his buddies and or made it extremely hard for you to go get and so thinking about what you're doing matters a lot more uh, kevin ran into a rift earlier so it was a good uh, segue there so we also uh touched, oh. we, we bumped up the healing oh oh Ooh, a good battle nice. so so okay, a couple of cool things just happened there. So he just procced uh, Flawless Execution, which is one of the new Night Stalker perks that lets you go invisible um, when you get a headshot kill while crouching. And then while you're invisible in that state, you'll actually be able to see targets behind walls as well. And now he's using Spectral Blades to destroy this team that was trying to turtle on a, on a healing area put down by the Dawn Blade. Mm -hmm. But they were able to mount a resistance there. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually if somebody runs into a room with a super, it's like, we're all dead. Yep, yeah, so the, there's a good pushback there. The Dawn Blade heal is extremely good. It's extremely so. effective, and it also buffs your damage as well, so they were able to push back. And holy crap, <laughs> that Thunder Crash has got three kills. This is pretty intense here. So the other thing, uh, yeah, so Healing Rift came up. Just basic Healing Rift is now um, a little bit more effective. and Had to and, be, right? Yeah, to definitely, counter. to help give it some more uh, keeping up with a high pace of combat now. And the other thing is Empowering Rift also got buffed. And so that used to uh, not buff your precision damage, but now will also buff your precision damage. Uh, so basically, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep up with this new lethality in a way that makes your weapons even more lethal <laughs> than before. Now, one of the things we haven't talked about, but armor also receives random rolls. Uh, so there are random rolls on armor. Additionally, there are, of course, mods that go into your armor. Um, <laughs> there are some new and some that you uh, used to from year one, including the ability uh, regeneration speeds and things. Those mm -hmm. have also all been buffed because for the same reason, um, you can take five now as well. So all the rules have been removed. There's no like, hey, well, put this on when you're wearing blue pants on the morning of August 5th. It's just mm -hmm. this increases your grenade regeneration speed. Yeah, flat out. And you can you can push it all the way up to five to give you, uh, I believe we settled on a, so I, I will say at least a 60%. I think we've settled on higher than Ooh, that. This that is higher than Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not even uh, bad. <laughs> It's a spicy rocket. If you stack all the way up, it's a higher boost than you can get in uh, with D1, mm -hmm. or year one, excuse me. And then, as well as, I think if you if you just run four of them, you get the same as, uh, yeah, or it might be three. You gotta respect your choices, right? If you, if you pick all grenade mods, you're gonna get a lot of grenades. A lot of grenades, yeah. There you go. Someone's getting some, uh, it looks like the on the opposing team right now, there's a lot of overshield happening, and I think that's probably due to the Dawnblade using its new heal nade, or uh, I forget what we actually, uh, Divine Protection, that's what it's called. <laughs> Where you that's basically convert your grenade into a grenade that can actually heal your allies and give them an overshield as well. So how do you do that? So you hold uh, whatever your grenade button is, so that's left bumper for default, um, and you'll convert your grenade pretty quickly into oh. a healing grenade. And then there was Blade Barrage. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the new Solar Hunter Super. Uh, you basically flip into the air and destroy anything in your sight with a series, a volley of explosive knives. It's for uh, the Golden Gunner who is tired of aiming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 there he is. <laughs> yeah, you can see how crispy that headshot was with the bow. Like you can follow up with a hand cannon or an AR and a submachine gun. Like it, it's so it's such a nice combo. Reminds oh, me of the good old, you. Oh, oh no. Oh man, and someone was saved there by a healing uh, area put down by the Dawn Blade. They've taken the lead. You could well of radiance. Kevin is getting a lot of information from my Wish Under. Yeah, do we know like, what mod Kevin put on the Wish Under? Do you make pay attention to that? That's exotic, so. Oh, oh. Yeah. Tell well, me about that, Greg. And here's the Spectral Blades coming right at him. <laughs> Oof. 
barely <laughs> escaped. Nope, not for long, though. <laughs> What's the inference there? Exotic weapons have set perk sets. Yes, they they do not have the ability to slot a mod. Right. They are fixed roll. Yes. 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 Exotic weapons are extremely powerful and uh, very specifically curated by y'all. So if, the, if you haven't picked up on it yet, it looks like Kevin's loadout here is, is formed all around gaining information. So yeah, he's using a sword to peek a little bit, and so same with some emotes. Um, he's using Wishfinder to get guys Oof. behind walls, but also and the Night Stalker mm -hmm. and miss a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, the Night Stalker Super Spectral Blades, um, when you go invisible, you can actually see guys behind walls the entire time as well. Um, oh. You need to be alive to do that. Yeah. Um, so that's being yeah. invisible helps you stay alive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there's so. a lot more super counterplay now that mm -hmm. shotguns and snipers are walking around. Yeah. But I think with, with Special Blades, you get a lot of uh, options where you can basically you can go into stealth, your super doesn't drain as fast, and you can see guys behind walls, which lets you pick your targets a little bit more carefully. Yeah. So if you're if you're a little better than Kevin is, you'll <laughs> go around walls, you go around corners, you'll you'll pick your targets a little more carefully. You don't have to throw yourself. You don't have to fight. just throw yourself onto a shotgun. It's a choice. <laughs> are, you, are you a little bit better than Kevin is? I like to take my time. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. I, 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 <laughs> it always takes up yeah, it's it's true. True. yeah. He's only, you're it's in the true. we're in the cheap seats He's right so now, my friend. Yeah, you're gonna too. pay for that and test. I'm sure. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I think it's Kevin killing you and then saying, "Take your time, Claude. <laughs> take, take your time. time. Take your time." Ooh, better crash! Oh. oh my God! Through the barricade. Well done. Well done. Yeah, so Thunder Crash, you can steer quite heavily, um, and basically, it looks like whoever was using that has learned how to pilot quite well. An ace pilot. <laughs> a Maverick. lot of fights over this heavy oh, spot in the middle one. here. Oh, but he got killed right yeah. before he actually even landed the detonation. When we first started talking about the bow, you had said that in a game full of space magic and machine guns, a bow might seem archaic, yep. but it's a patience weapon. It's it a is. precision weapon, and we're seeing, uh, despite the editorial commentary from Claude, we're seeing a lot <laughs> of really good, patient, precise work in uh, the hands of Mr. Giannis here with that. That's certainly not the way I fight, but I can tell that uh, you know, this type of weapon in the hands of somebody who's good with it is going to give me fits. We've also seen, I mean, people play it as a battle run with it as well, where you, like Kevin actually has the loadout to do that um, effectively, where you run in, you go for the, the single shot headshot with the bow, and then you quick swap with, you know, something like mm -hmm. Lucky Pants, for example, to pull out a hand cannon real fast and gut them before they can continue to move <laughs> What was that? Which, which, did you say Lucky Pants? Lucky Pants. Okay. Yeah. Is that that's a shipping it. name or is that one of our no, developer a, that code is a, names? No, that is, a, that is a year one, you wouldn't know because you're Warlock. I wouldn't that know. As a year one no. exotic okay. pant, if you will, yes. for the, for the hunter. Okay. That helps with, with the use of hand cannons. Yeah, I like to run bows with a really fast draw time and put Icarus on that so I can actually pull that kind of move off midair, get a headshot, and then switch to like an SMG or a sidearm to close in. So you can still play warrior mode with a bow. Uh, you got to find the right stats. Whew. Also, oh my goodness. That was juicy. <laughs> and there are, some, uh, there are some pretty yeah. incredible exotic armor pieces mm -hmm. that go along with the bows as well that you can pull off some pretty, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, there's so much like that changed with the core sandbox that makes the old exotics also really interesting and relevant again in yep. a way that's really exciting. Um, in particular, I know uh, with Shoulder Charge, for instance, uh, standicides are also now really, really amazing to think yep. about uh, using because they'll yep. give you an overshield that's going to help protect you as you come in for that one hit kill. Shoulder and charge. Knives for days. Knives for days, rush. yep. Um, the uh, sun bracers um, are really good with the new healing grenade setup for the Dawnblade. Same with um, uh, like Starfire Protocol. What have we been using with uh, Thunder Crash? I'm trying to remember what the, what Nuke's favorite loadout is. Oh, what uh, is it's the pants, oh. right? Oh, oh, the uh, the Anateus wards. Yes. Or, or slide reflect legs. So yeah, pants. Yeah. <laughs> so you slide, slide reflect where yeah. you put uh, you put the increased one of the mm -hmm. new armor mods that we mm -hmm. brought back, uh, new old mar armor mods. You put the increased turning while sprinting mm -hmm. mod on. So you're super agile. Mm -hmm. You can reflect. And then boom! Here we go. Oh, oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> you can uh, reflect incoming fire as you slide. That's very nice. Uh, and then you, you know, you're always punching people out of the air. Yeah. So right now uh, he's got um, the ballistic strike charged, and so every time he's in the air, he's going to have the ability to hit his melee button and basically do 
uh, a miniature version of Death from Above at any time and aim at any target. Uh, and that one doesn't want shot kill. So we, we made some yeah. interesting choices there where like a shoulder target is a little bit more risky. You have to get really close and you're, you're sacrificing your positioning a lot more um, to even get to be able to pull it off. Whereas the ballistic strike you can do from the skies where no one knows where it's coming from. I can't wait to use shotguns more frequently again in Destiny, I gotta yeah. tell you. And I Shotgun love the way they sound combo. in D2. Yep. So a uh, couple of observations. Uh, this has been a really good even match. You know, yeah, we haven't had one it's team it. run away with this. Uh, Observations from chat right now. Um, every hunter in chat is shaming me brutally for not knowing what Lucky Pants was. <laughs> As yeah. they so, should. Yeah, Thank you, yeah, chat. Guilty, guilty as charged. Uh, you know, I have tunnel vision for my own ways. Um, a, a freshly arrived Dr. Lupo is asking if it's good, and uh, they're telling them that so far, looks like so you guys. Far. So far, looks yeah. like you guys did a good job. And uh, people want to see what Cosmo's <laughs> doing. So I can tell you that uh, within two kills here, uh, we're going to switch, switch the view up. here to uh, Mr. Cosmo 23, and we will see how he fares in battle. But yeah. in between this Whoa, match and the good. next, we're actually going to uh, let people uh, change up their loadouts a little bit and let you see uh, a different way to play. And so as you'll notice on this, uh, every time, well, every time he died and came back, he was always coming back with uh, two shotgun rounds. There we go. Mm -hmm. And we are at game with a nice eight kill spread. Uh, so did widening Oof. the skill Pretty gap, but uh, still a good close match, yep. yeah? That was tight. So, uh, well fought to our in-studio combatants, and thank you very much. Uh, let's take a look at uh, our brave fighters. And uh, gentlemen, good game. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks. How do you want to uh, configure your guardians for uh, the second round of Clash? Hmm. I think I'm going to switch off to the... Uh, switch off of the bow. Go for... A bygones sniper loadout here, and I'm going to run the projectile. Put mm -hmm. yourself. Any any mod changes by chance? I've already uh, pre-socketed, uh, okay. so I am going uh, with, in with uh, enhanced target acquisition for my sniper and my uh, pulse rifle. Oh, oh double! Oh, oh, actually, too. that's a perfect loadout for you because you were having trouble hitting things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least I hit my golden guns. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Do you? Well, for those who like to take their time, Golden Gun now has more time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I like to take my time. Yeah. Probably hurried up, though. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Cosmo, what are we going to see from you in the next fight? I'm going to go crazy. Oh, I'm going to go oh, crazy shotgun, Badlander shotgun, and Legend of Acrius. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be That's a triple crazy. shotgun loadout. Talk uh, to us a little crazy. bit about your shotgun mods and your shotgun perks. How are each of these shotguns going to be uh, behaving differently in combat? Uh, so on the Look first shotgun, shot. I'm going to do a backup mag, increase the magazine. Look at that pretty shotgun. Mm -hmm. Very lofty goals of putting more ammo in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, second one, mm. uh, let's do radar, you know. Mm -hmm. Radar tuner. Get mm -hmm. my radar mm -hmm. mag. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, this guy's going crazy over here. Acris, but Acris it's is already exotic, pretty so good. As you can tell. <laughs> All right, we ready to go? We uh, are go for launch. Cousin, I have one in. request. When you get in, can you show the difference in the radar speeds between your two shotguns? Sure. Thank you. This will be our final 4v4 exhibition on this stream. We appreciate everybody who's sounding off in chat. Uh, those of you who are subscribing, uh, please know that every subscription to our chat uh, on our Twitch channel uh, benefits the Bungie Foundation. So we're not monetizing the feedback loop as much as we are, uh, I don't know, consider it an internet swear jar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. something, to, <laughs> yeah. something to throttle the, uh, the waterfall of feedback so that we can actually read it. And Cosmos. Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime. <laughs> that wasn't a sales pitch. That was just <laughs> us letting you know that we're taking your money and putting it to a good use. That's right. So uh, Cosmo's uh, running an interesting armor load out there too where he basically stacked all melee recharge mods because he really wants to use Ballistic Slam a lot, <laughs> which is the <laughs> melee ability for the new third path of a striker. Oh, also, it looks like he's actually doing that for the throwing hammer because he wants to <laughs> throw some hammers at people's faces all day. Uh, it's a good choice. <laughs> Tell us a fun fact about the throwing hammer. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I like to say bonk when I throw someone at someone's face. That's mm, a fun fact. Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> cool so, facts, bro. I like this... Uh, <laughs> On the screen here, I like that the Ace of Spades pointing right at Claude's jiggly bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. 
<laughs> I don't know if this is helping. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's gonna... Ignore that, everyone. <laughs> it's safe. We're in a safe place. Uh, thanks again for all those subs. We're going to uh, we're going to take your uh, hard-earned money and uh, we're going to put it toward easing the stress, the distress and suffering of children in hospitals. We put iPads in their hands. Uh, you know, we give them the healing power of video games when they need it the most. Uh, and on the subject of healing power, they're going to need it right now as we come back into our final round of Clash. Let's do the radar check. Radar check. Radar check. Radar check. So that's Ooh, the that's biffy. Ooh. Mm -hmm. so, so and then choices. back with the mod? This is the mod. Choices matter. Yep. Also, show them the throwing hammer. Go pick it up. Throw it out of the wall. Pick it up. Okay. Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, but you got it back. You're all good. Yeah, but he didn't say bonk. When he yeah, he didn't, he didn't hit anyone. <laughs> oh, Save yeah. the bonk for when you hit someone. Gotta make a sound for the bonk. You gotta make a sound for the radar. Oh, oh oosh. come on. Go kill him and get the hammer back. You got so the way that works, too, is um, after about <laughs> six seconds, your hammer is going to explode. And so if you, you have about six seconds to pick it up. So he just wasted it. But it's okay because he used a bunch of melee mods to get his uh, recharge back. And his fast. buddy saved his life and he was able to pick up green mm -hmm. ammo. So now he's got something going. Yes. He's got enough ammo that he should probably reload. There you go. Now he's, now he's got something that he can work with. Uh, there's an incendiary grenade. We, we did give that a little well, bit of a damage buff. Wow. Well. Well. <laughs> hey, it's the curse of being on screen. Yeah. On, <laughs> on screen, I believe that it's, people can't aim anymore. The pressure. Uh, so on the topic of grenades, a, a handful of grenades got buffed as well. So yeah, incendiary is one of them. Uh, fusion also got buffed. All those stickies came up quite a bit actually. Feed me! <laughs> Kevin needs feeding. And it's something that we continue to, uh, we'll obviously continue to, to look at in the future, mm -hmm. right? This isn't a, a one and done. The job's will. never done. Boom! Oh yeah, there you well, go. Pretty. Accurate still works. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Oh, there you go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah, there you go. You don't want to lose that. He did use his third shotgun to success. And there's more. And now he's got more ammo. Now he's fully loaded. He's got yep. all the shotguns. This is where he dies. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> he's got a lot of guys surrounding so him. So many here. shotguns. Three shotguns. So a little time. A lot of uh, a lot of people around you. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. Uh oh. He's got the high ground Anakin. There you go. Uh, we agreed no prequel memes on stream. <laughs> <laughs> we agreed. I was was actually, you didn't come to I rehearsal. Was, yeah. Yeah, no no prequel rehearsal. memes on there. stream. Yeah. I feel like shotgun hunters need a theme song. Maybe the 18 song? Maybe the 18, yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna chase for a while here. Get him! Oh. Get him! Get him! Fog him! him. Oh. Oh. oh! So close to get so far. It's because he there's that. Ball. Now the hammer loses its parent. Yeah. So it, yeah. So the hammer's gone. We oh, lost right. it. You had now mentioned that it. this is a loadout for someone you know, in your developer insights video. If you're crazy, right? Yeah. This is a crazy loadout. But let's make this up. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be some moments in combat, like if we just wanted to say, Cosmo, you stay inside. You guard that heavy ammo spawn. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's all close quarters. He's, he's a brawler. He's a bruiser right now. Right. So, so we're not showing it today, but we've shown a bunch of it. Like, Gambit, I think, is, <clears throat> for me, is honestly the best use of the Destiny sandbox. It does everything, right? Sure. You have your PvE play. You have your PvP play. You yep. have your objective play. Um, you have your like hold a point play like it has everything and so everything in matters. Gambit where you have your whole team like picking the loadouts uh, to suit your job I think is going to be a, a huge deal and there yeah. is absolutely a place for for Cosmo's crazy three shotgun build when you are trying to keep blockers away from the points uh, and things like that in Gambit and so like all mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. all these things have roles and times to use them and you know I there will be people who run this in PvP and do yeah, just fine them. with it. Sure. Cosmo's not one there of them, right? But, like, <laughs> but there will be people who can pull it off. Um, and to DJ's point, like, strategically you can arrange your team to have a really specific loadout be really effective in certain contexts, right? right. You can say, like, yeah, like we're going to have the triple shotgun guy defend the bomb or whatever. And so if they rush it, they have to deal with that. So there's a lot of ways to make that pretty relevant. And that case was not exactly one of them. Um, 
but I think he's learning. It's a, he's shown <laughs> us the whatnots, which I think is also helpful, mm -hmm. right? Like, hey, don't do this, don't so, do that. So no pressure, your super is ready. It's not like there are a lot of people watching, um, so just don't mess up. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, not just a demonstration of combat oh, in year two, but also a demonstration of the bungee playtest culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not a kind thing. No, it's not. It's we not, are... well, you did good too. You should yeah. feel good about yeah. the fact that you tried really hard in playtest oh. today. It's, there's hey, yeah. it's taking out a the horrible blades. level of shame. Yeah. Taking out spectrum you blades. You either don't get shamed Bob or you get shamed. Oh, no, he's stuck. Oh. Get out oh. of there. there okay. He's behind the cabal ball. Get the slam off. Yeah. Come on! There's one. Get another. Get another. Oh, No, you know, he just wants to swing. Oh, still around. Still with the shotty. Nice. That's a good time. Pretty shotty. Oh, he's taking the Time to <laughs> which got him killed, yeah. as it should. Yes. Lessons hubris. Yeah. hubris. Pride cometh right before the fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so the way uh, that super works too is you have your right trigger attack is basically a ground, a ground slam that sends off a stream of fire and that'll, that'll actually find guys. You know what we should have done is added mm -hmm. a tornado. <gasps> Oh, oh we, there's a tornado? <laughs> oh, well, then it's perfect. Yeah, we, we, we wanted to take it over the top. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, Boom. to be explicit about it, if you run a single uh, special loadout, you get two rounds per spawn when you load in. Mm -hmm. And if you run a dual special loadout, you get one in each. Um, so the same number of spawning, same amount of spawning ammo. Mm -hmm. um, oh, man, that Ooh. was not the corner to run around. No. He and didn't that, have those Kevin Giannis right. uh, looking around the corners first. That's right. That ammo he was talking about, um, that's also per archetype. So for a shotgun, you'll get two rounds. Um, but for fusions, I think it's different, right? It's like uh, no, it's still two. two? I, made, okay. I made it all two. Well, it's oh, really? 14 because it fires seven shots. There okay. go, but it's that. still two shots. Same as the stuff. It's worth two kills. The only thing that is different is trace rifles. <laughs> uh, back on vacation. And you get 25 <laughs> trace rifle energy uh, because that's about two kills worth. Seems like a good time. I for buffed some... it to 40. Oof. You buffed it to 40? Yeah. Must Great. have that email. <laughs> I just saw a comment Ooh. in chat saying uh, they're seeing a lot of melee kills, not seeing a whole bunch from grenades. Are grenades inherently different in year two? So we did buff grenades, but the nature of grenades uh, is a lot of times is that they're an opener. And so I think that's what we're seeing a lot of times here is that people are using them to open fights or to sort of supplement their gameplay. But yeah, yeah. Um, what we yeah. didn't do is make them one one shot kills yeah, like we didn't no bring, we didn't roll grenades. back to where you can just rely on a mm -hmm. grenade to clean up like you have to play with your grenade right. um, to make it effective and so Fusions it is a tool. come up quite a bit but they're not back to one shot kills yep. they're not back to the reason why i wore void fang vestments for 3 <laughs> years yeah they man that stuff man that smelled bad when i finally Boom. took it off <laughs> you got to wash it man I, I, oh, oh. and that's what we call reaction time problems <laughs> reaction time is a factor so please pay attention yeah, as he goes All right, he's, he's, he's <laughs> abandoning, <laughs> yeah. he's oh, abandoning yeah, he's the still, three shot, the still, three shot gun build. Yeah, still sticking with yeah. dual, dual special. Cosmo's tired of being crazy. Mm -hmm. Still crazy. Still crazy. He's a little bit it's less of a crazy to load out, but still. He at least well. has a has a range alteration that he can do. All right, there's this, there's this there special. Pretty, pretty. All right, how's this gonna play? Probably poorly. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is actually somewhat of a viable loadout. If you no, know. the loadout's fine. Oh, yeah. It's Cosmo. Oh, of course. course. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, so I'd like to through. call out that uh, you know this is an in-development build, so you're seeing under the radar screen, you're seeing uh, some text strings that are obviously not final. So uh, that's what we see in development before we're finished, and it's not September 4th yet, so pardon our dust. It is coming up quickly. Yeah, we are less than one month from the beginning of Forsaken, and even closer to the arrival of these changes. That's right. I mean, the things that we're looking at right now, not these weapons, not this map, but... Not the mod. The sandbox changes. Oh, there's a heal grenade. Woo! So that floating orb there was uh, <laughs> an enemy throwing down a heal grenade that basically would give someone an overshield for passing through it. So when you see one of those on the opposing team, you can actually still destroy them. Mm. So that's something that I don't think Cosmo realized there, because he could have saved himself from having to deal save with yourself. a lot yeah. of guys with overshields. Yeah. <laughs> so this elevator that they're standing right near, uh, if you're underneath that thing when it comes down, does it kill you? It does not. It stops. <laughs> it stops. Yeah. That's good. OSHA yeah. thanks you. Yeah. yeah. There were a lot of fatalities at yeah. this work area <laughs> before they implemented that. Yeah. Days since accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's always zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on, oh, Cosmo. there's an arc staff for fucking Come on, Cosmo. Cosmo. Keep yourself safe. Come on, Cosmo. Spectre Blade's coming yeah. across. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Down there's the that shock. new melee. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so you gotta be careful. So it's, uh, it's definitely a riskier situation to be close range to Guardians these days. Uh, you gotta, gotta, pick your, gotta pick your moment. Woof. Hmm. I might not want to be Stormcaller anymore. <laughs> oh, Stormcaller will still fry some guys. <laughs> fry some guys. Fry some guys. Sounds like the name of a fast food restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Frog guys. What's the one? Frog guys. <laughs> Has he gotten a sniper kill yet? No. No. Uh, he's been walking around with one for a while though. He's trying. Yeah. Who does for effort? There you go. <laughs> well. Boom. Oh, did he, he just miss him? He whiffed him. Whiffed. Wow. Swinging a man. Wow. Yeah. I would have went for the slam there. I appreciate that he was in basically the tightest part of the map and yeah. still managed to. He's miss going the for style man. points. He loves the he loves the the, the, twirl. the spin. Yeah. Bang, bang. Hey, nice. Go. Ah, oh, 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 tough for that guy. Oh, oh, but the hammer might explode. Oh, on. That's heavy that ammo happens. read right there. <laughs> Another uh, one shot, one kill. Another nice uh, sort of downstream effect of the mod changes are that a lot of people are running super mods, which makes the sort of timing for when supers come in a lot more variable. So you'll yep. see a lot of people like sort of stacking mods and showing up early, and then you'll see a lot of more staggered uses super of mods supers. being one of the brand new mods that we've mm -hmm. added. Um, oh. Not as potent as the other ability mods, but mm -hmm. still, still really effective. Yeah, makes a big difference. Does he know there's a guy behind? No. Oh, he knows. He knows. Yeah, okay. just last second. Panic grenade. Yep. We've all been there. Why is my radar... Ra oh! This match is almost half over. Uh, we have a moment here. Tell us, on August 28th, when we preload Forsaken, uh, every player of Destiny is going to notice some of these changes starting to take effect. Uh, the, the weapon balance, the way that the, the, the new tuning, the way the weapons behave will arrive. What else arrives? Are all these new mods going to show up? Mods will not be there yet. No. Uh, they come in with release. Uh, the but, slots will be there, but, but you'll just have nothing to put into them. Slots will, yeah. no. We, will, we have rearranged uh, your year one weapons as well. Okay. So you will have stuff to put into them. Okay. Uh, and slots will be there. Um, Greg Club, the, uh, all the uh, tuning, uh, yeah. most of the tuning will be there. Most yeah. of the tuning for the, yeah, for the stuff that's shipped. For year one stuff. For year one stuff. Um, and I'll also say just um, that when we say all players, we also mean PvE players as well. Like of course, yeah, all yeah, All these yeah. changes yeah. affect PvE. We've increased how effective shoulder charge is in mm -hmm. PvE as well. Mm -hmm. Same with throwing knives and melee damage. Like, all that stuff is relevant in PvE. Yeah. Yep. The final week of year one is going to be... Uh, a little weird, mm -hmm. just because we're going to have the new weapon slot system show up, but none of the new weapons. Mm -hmm. We'll have the new mod slot show up, but none of the new mods. Right. So we'll kind of ease into this. But they'll be able to go out there and they'll be able to play with the things that they have. Uh, they'll be able to rearrange them into some new and interesting combinations. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the arc bolt. And see, there's a grenade kill, a couple yep. of grenade kills. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, two, bad to bad, yeah. just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at some point we're going to release a list of all the weapons that are changing slots and mm -hmm. possibly changing damage type even. Okay. Um, it will be interesting. Oh, yeah, worth noting, go. I think you guys talked about this in the pod this week, but worth noting, whatever damage type you decide to live with, uh, when Forsaken you launches, slam? What you oh. will stay, you will, oh, you will so continue close. to have. <laughs> oh, sorry, so your energy weapons, when you mod them with your damage type now, choose wisely. So that is, you, as long as you don't shard them, you will, you will have them at your disposal. Yeah, so bows are, are uh, definitely counterable. You gotta pick your moments for those for sure. That pulse was pretty nasty. Uh, also uh, it's a burning mall. It's a fire tornado. Uh -huh. Oh, there's another friend down. Bygone saves the day. 
There's Storm Trance. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. There's a preview of DJ's feature crying. <laughs> oh, never mind. He's dead. Got that orb, got that ammo. Doesn't need that. Oh yeah, he did. did. Close match, 25 kills remain. Oh my god. Will we ever see a sniper kill? No! There's one. There's been a sniper kill. (laughs) Will we ever see a one-shot sniper kill? I need a hunter like you with the red jacks. Oh, I get to see some exotic sword action. Yeah, check out that black talon. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh my, oh my. Oh Oh my, he fights like a clay pigeon. far away from that distance. Oof. So close. There you go. Here you Bring go. Kill. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Watch that lens flare. Yeah, definitely having snipers be up more often just makes things feel so much more dynamic again. You know, just like watching lanes and being careful about all your positioning and stuff. So Greg, it's exciting. the flares and all the tells we worked on too, mm-hmm. right? Like we, the linear fusion's got a, oh, yeah. got a new, better tell. Yep. All these yeah. things got relooked at. That was definitely yeah. one of those things where we were, it was kind of just nice to have um, in there again when we were playing just like relative to D1. When you see someone coming at you with a shotgun, you really see it now. And so you can at least have a little bit of time to prepare, to react, yeah. react, and call, your, call your family. Crispy. Are you going to observe that sniper kill? Right, or are you only going to talk about oh, Cosmo when he doesn't? I didn't see it. Well, there you go. You know. Basically, didn't happen. Must be a targeting mod. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, what? Oh. Yeah, I can see there's going to be a how. Oh, here we go. Ace of spades. I think I'm going to see oh, a shoulder charge. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Stay Show at- us a shoulder charge kill. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Gonna do it. I believe. Show us that crispy three tap, too. I believe. He's got, no, he's got an overshield. Oh, no. Oh, he also has a bad choice. Oh, look at that. That's a bad also choice. Just whipped. Yeah. So there's some good, there's some good counterplay there to the shoulder charge. It's, it's not a three-point game. It won't be Yeah, the and they've swapped option. leads a couple times mm-hmm. now. Yeah, so I think, you know, watching this, I hope that, I hope chat and the, those at home can get a sense for, like, imagine what it would look like if good players were playing. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah, well, only. there are still a lot of lingering questions. People want to see better devils in action a little bit more than they have. People want to oh! see the warlock in action more than they have. Oh, the devil. Yeah. Oh, that actually, that's a good thing to talk about there, too. All the shoulder charge mechanics in D2 um, gain an... AOE with them as well. They have an explosion when you hit. The explosion doesn't one-shot kill. Yep. Only the first guy you hit. Yep. So there's going to be a reason to keep more than one version of a weapon, obviously, now. Uh, yep. The uh, collections will allow you to sort of look across your riches and understand which weapons that you have. But if you get a weapon that you love, if you think it's a god roll, or if you want to have several different iterations of your favorite guns, we have 500 total vault slots now. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, the things that we're not demonstrating on stream today, uh, you know, there's about 10 kills that remain in this exhibition match. Uh, You know, we're leaving for your discovery. You know, player discovery, understanding how these changes impact your own fighting style is an important part of Destiny. So we try to set your expectations without completely giving away the whole shop. And uh, August 28th will be an interesting moment for people to kind of come out and say, here's how I play differently now. Oh, oh. And to your point, Josh, that will change over time. It'll yes. change September 4th. It'll change as people discover each other. Mm-hmm. It'll change as people react to the shifting meta. Start um, to figure out the mods they like and yeah. what they want to pair them with. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. There's just so much to think about now. All yeah. the new exotics, all yeah. the old exotics. Kind of like when you have your favorite Crazy. rush. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that, that's a demonstration of just the healing power and the healing effectiveness of an opposing team's well of radiance. You can't just run in there and start punching guys. Yeah, that's, that's, not gonna, that's not gonna pay off. It's not gonna be a good time. Final moment. One last chance to show off your favorite moves. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, we'll be proud. The eighth of five. Don't forget to reload after your kill, Lays Spades. The game Hint. does not ship with Greg. Oh, pretty. <laughs> pretty. Friendly Greg pop up on the screen. <laughs> Don't forget to reload. <laughs> Don't forget to reload. <laughs> oh, there it is. There, there we is. go. Yeah, that's good stuff. The echoes of year one. 
I guess if you want. Oh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Well, you know, it's a good it way might, to get out of the way. Paid off, it might have paid off, actually. Yeah, that's pretty tough. <laughs> Being supercharged. Oh my god! Oh. 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 Denied. And match complete. I love, the, I love the idea of like a supercharged guy complete. standing in an elevator. Just like. <laughs> good game, everyone. Yep. Well fought, well played. Good game. Uh, that is. Uh, that's all we have today. Thanks so much, Cosmo and Kevin, for playing, guys. And uh, thank you so much. Absolutely. To uh, these gentlemen for uh, the work that you've put into the game and for. Uh, taking a break from your honeymoon to join us today. And um, thanks for sitting in the seats and talking about what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Hope everybody is super excited about what they're seeing. We're, we're very much looking very, forward to playing it. So, very excited. Uh, we hope you guys are too. Yep. And this was uh, definitely a stream that uh, they were very eager to do. You know, they yes. came to us and they said, we put a lot of work into the second year of Destiny 2. We've changed up time to kill. We've changed up weapon slots and ammunition and perks and mods and a lot of the things that the community has been talking to us for yep. some time. Uh, and uh, they were very eager to get out here on stream and to show you how this works. So thank you for watching. And uh, thank you for benefiting our charitable efforts mm -hmm. with uh, your subs. And to summarize, we're giving you more ways to configure your guardian so it's a reflection of how you want to fight. Uh, we're bringing back some of those hero moments. What else do we want to say about year three? Uh, interesting drops to keep, them, keep yeah. the meta from going stale and keep things interesting for a long time. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. good. Well, uh, some of these changes will arrive on October 28th when we preload Forsaken. All players of Destiny 2 can see how that stuff feels. Uh, the rest of these changes arrive on uh, September 4th when Forsaken begins with a brand new adventure. Uh, we hope you'll join us for all of these things. Uh, in the meantime, we will see you at Gamescom. We'll see you at PAX. We may even see you right back here on stream. And good luck getting your triumphs. <laughs> good luck with your triumphs. Yes, you still have uh, several weeks left in the Solstice of Heroes. So we see, hope we'll see you in the tower for uh, that ongoing celebration with those new challenges, those new ways to decorate yourself. That's all we have to say today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks so Thanks much for everybody. watching. That's all we got. Forsaken, available September 4th. Pre-order and get the Ace of Spades last hand ornament, plus Cade's exotic stash.